Shall we get our souls back then? Souls that are now sitting below. Yeah, a large exactly. Wizard. Sitting below a massive dragon. That's. Uh, I don't. I don't know if we're going to be able to get them back. To be honest. Um, I. Th I think. I think you need a bow and arrow to bring him down, or not to bring him. Oh, there we are. They're there. Oh, sweet. Lovely. They oh yeah, a rather convenient place. Yeah, your blood stain appears uh, ten sec, like ten seconds back from where you died. Ah, that's so, good. Yeah, so to make things retrievable. Basically. Yeah, it's so like so if you fall off a ledge, for example, mm -hmm. so it doesn't spawn in the middle of the air. Um, so yeah, it works quite nicely. Oh yeah, perfect. Is it? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Um, <laughs> so, is our only option to deal with this dude? Uh, what do you mean, can we kill him? No, I mean, is there anything else we can do apart from go and collect those souls and try and run under his legs? Oh, yeah. We can go another way. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Why didn't we do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we can go and get those uh, souls again, presumably. Yeah, yeah. We'll go, we'll go and get the souls and then... Um, if he comes down, I might have one last try at running past him. Uh huh. Uh, basically, at this stage, we we can't realistically take him down. We we can take him down, but not yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, basically, he's he's a pretty tough boss, and he's a bit of a, you know, jerkwad. Yeah, exactly. That's a good word for him. Total jerkwad. So, here we go. Let's have a little wander along here. There's a guy around here. All right, mate. Yeah. Not today, hollow soldier. The thirst and thrust claims another <laughs> victim. And another. I'm quite enjoying this rapier. I, I think like the uh, the removal animation. Oh, you mean the kind of... Foot on chest. Yeah, foot on chest. It's lovely, isn't it? He's rats or assholes. I don't like yeah. them. Ah, uh, whoa! Ooh. That was a bit dodgy. One of the problems is with the plank shield, which is why we need to change it. Is that um, every time we block something, like depending on the quality of your shield. Ah! I keep on getting poisoned. Obviously. <laughs> So, depending on the quality of your shield, you get... Uh, depending on the quality of your shield, like, uh, you lose more stamina blocking with it. Oh, so see. if you have a really shitty shield, it'll still block stuff. You know, it won't block everything, but it'll still block stuff. But you'll lose more endurance, so basically you get staggered easier. And when you get staggered, that's like the worst position to be in in Dark Souls, because you have no defense. Mm. Hello? What's that? I don't know, it looks like a big rat. Don't, can't it's see not, it quite from here. Yeah, it's not a big rat. More's the pity. Oh, hello. Look at him. Oh, and there's his mate. Hello. Yeah, coming up a go. The thirst and thrust. Got the parry down path. Yeah, well, you know, I should hope so. <laughs> you know, I've got the parry down pat, but... Yeah. I don't know. If I couldn't parry in this game, I'd feel like, you know, I'd wasted half my life, basically. And, you know, there's still going to be plenty of occasions when I totally screw it, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Oh, shit. That like being, that being mm. a case in point, this poison is really annoying. I don't know why I'm getting poisoned so easily. Like, I shouldn't necessarily be... Like, one hit from a rat shouldn't necessarily be poisoning me. But Maybe I, it's uh, a, well, a, a facet of your weakness. Character. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Poison. Poison. Take a drink, Rich. Oh, man. Take I'm a big take old a drink. swig. Okay. <laughs> So what's the plan? I'm pissed now. <laughs> pissed off, I mean. Not pissed, although if, if this rate of death goes on, 
I think uh, I may need some sort of stomach pump. Uh, oh, that's just annoying. Right, priority number one is not getting poisoned this time. That guy didn't even fight you. Yeah, he knew. <laughs> the thirst and thrust was coming his way if he even tried it. He'd prefer to Good die lunging. to a backstab. Come on, rat. Oh. Can you push them off the edge? Is that something that happens? Uh, I think I could. Oh, shit. Just noticed his mate turning up there. There he goes. Whee! Oh, oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, he took his juice with him. Well, he had... Um, that would have been humanity. He's going to fall off. Oh! <laughs> In your tactic. face. Oh, yeah, you can... Um, Oh, oh. Yeah. It's not very attentive, is he? Or dragon you chum. Here, mate. Yeah. What times have you shooting him with an arrow here? Does he actually pay attention to you? Uh, he takes off. Ah. Um, you can kill him, though, because he'll eventually return. Uh, well, I say eventually, like, you know, it's like 10 seconds. Um, but we just... We just don't have much good gear at the minute, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> come on, we're like, we're a walnut running around with some trousers on. <laughs> um... We later on you get um, a bow that's basically bigger than you, called a dragon slayer bow. Does and, that uh, do what it says on the tin? Yeah, the the clues in the title. Like you need the Ron Seal guy for that. <laughs> or the dragon slayer great bow. <laughs> Does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, won't make any sense to uh, any Americans watching this. But more's the pity, you missed out on some high quality wood polish. <laughs> I think it was wood polish, wasn't it, Ron Seal? Like fence paint or something. I think they make a, a variety of... This uh, is this is when you realise that like our dads were real men and we are not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really into DIY. Yeah, like, you know, my dad did gardening and built shit. I played Dark Souls and recorded <laughs> it. You know? Progress! So, we killed him. Come on, mate. Don't you want some of this? Yeah. Thirst and thrust. Is that going to get old, do you think? Not getting old so far. Nice. And up here to our killers. Hello. Retrieval. So, come on, mate. It's quite hard to parry when we've got all these arrows coming at us. Oops, a daisy. And he seems to know it. He's not. He's not. He's not having a go at us, is he? He's just letting the arrows kind of do the work for him. Can you lure him down the steps, maybe? Yeah, that might be a plan. Hello. Come on, mate. Come you know on, you want dickhead. to. Yeah, nothing will happen if you follow me down here. I could probably backstab him here if I just sprinted up. Lol. Oh, he's a cunning dog. <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> Shit. One of the things about a rapier that's slightly annoying actually against these guys is that uh, you don't kick. Remember how I said oh, yeah, earlier yeah. that the move sets are different for every weapon? Well, with the rapier, you do this kind of. Who oh dear, Rich? Don't worry. Mm -mm. These guys don't have shields though. So and we they can... don't have a chance. Although, See, one they're... of the things is, though, the rapier is kind of weak. Like, next time I do a parry... Shit. You're fine, you're fine. Yeah, we're cool. Oh, the oh. Yes, it's the jammy little... It's okay. Swine! It's okay because... Oh, shit. Our speary mate has jumped off. Is he going to come up behind you? Yeah, he is. But by the time he does that, we'll have killed these dudes. Right, now see, I did 152 damage there. Oh, but yeah. you'll notice if I hit them like this. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the thing about the rapier. Like, we're making a joke about the, the thirst and thrust. But um, the rapier is a critical weapon. Right, so you can so, only really do damage when you crit them. 
Yeah, basically, like you can poke. Like one of one of the advantages of it is if you've got your shield up, you can poke without putting your shield down, <laughs> mm -hmm. which you cannot do with most other weapons. Oh. So the rapier is about kind of poking them and then doing crits, basically. So what's this? So what is that giant armadillo thing down there? It's a boar. It's a boar in armor. It's a boar in armor. Okay. But we've just picked up an it's interesting item. Mm, yeah, we have fire bombs, but we also have attract certain types <laughs> of enemies. An alluring skull. What an alluring skull. Exactly. He's so pretty. And presumably boars love skulls with I glowing think eyes. So. I'm going to try and throw one in that fire. Shit. Almost. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Sorry if the video skipped a little bit there. Um, the truth is, Marty's doorbell rang. He went to answer it, and I checked my phone. And while I was doing that, I got backstabbed. Uh, Dark Souls. So uh, rather than show you like the third run through of me getting poisoned by rats, uh, we decided just to bring you back here. And you're gonna throw the skull thing down? Yeah, like I'm gonna try because basically that fire is gonna do him. But. Come on. Ooh, oh, yeah. what a shot. Yeah! Oh. Burn, you fucker. He loves it. Does he love skulls so much that he... Is he trying to come and get you? <laughs> well, yeah, but he can't fit up the stairs, thank God. So wow. Can you, so is he going to fall for that again a second time? Uh, well, he's he's a dumb beast, Marty. <laughs> you know. I don't know. Well, you know, this is the world of Dark Souls. Anything can happen. Come on, that was right in the fire. Oh, did oh he doesn't... Didn't like it. Oh no, he does. Yes. Yay. Burn, burn, you metal fucker. That was, you know, a terrible addiction to glowing skulls. Yeah. Go on, have another one. What? Maybe he needs to see it. Oh no, I think he's sniffed it out. Has he? No. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Let's have a look. Well, should we hit him with a black fire bomb? Why do not? It. Oh, that was nice. One more will do him. Is he not a creature you should engage in hand to hand combat? Well, you know. He looks pretty mean. Let me put it this way I could definitely have kicked his ass without breaking a sweat. Of course. But, <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> discretion is the, uh, the better part of valour. So we got a waist cloth and a titanite shard there. That doesn't look too pleasant, does it? No. Oh, poor chap. So, is there anything around here we've missed? I don't think so. Just various pyres, hmm. people burning. What does this message say? Try stabbing in the back. Oh yeah, the boar, rather amusingly, has uh, an unarmored butthole. I see. So you can. Uh, it says stab him in the back, you know, stab him in the butthole, basically. Thurston's thrust, his pokey stick. Yeah, gives it a new meaning, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, no. Oh, so Daisy. The problem is, I've run out of Estus. I really should have um, kindled that bonfire, which I will explain next time we're at a bonfire. Bas well, you know, might as well do it now. Basically, when you kindle a bonfire, you get more Estus from it by sacrificing humanity. Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, but you need to be human to do that. So, like, you need two humanity. So, it's kind No, it's not a big sacrifice. Um, but at this stage, it can be. Ah, uh, you cunning dogs. Right, let's kill him. Oh. And we're doubling up again. See, the thing is, these enemies are obviously crap, but... You can get mobbed quite easily, I think. Yeah. It's quite narrow. And we have no health. So... Oh, uh, shit. One of the things I've just noticed, which I somehow hadn't noticed before. Sorry, that was a bit cheap, but, you know. Eh, eh, did the trick. What is that? Humanity. Oh, 
So I've sucked down a humanity there, but you know, we only humanity isn't Estus, you know. Like Estus refills at the bonfires every time. Ah shit. Uh you don't really want to be using humanity to heal. I just can't be asked to <laughs> no, sure. go through those rats again. Mystery key. Mystery key, that's interesting, isn't it? Should we have a look at the description? Mm -hmm. I'm just checking that no dudes are coming before I look at the description. I don't think they are. So, what, we haven't really spoken much about Dark Souls lore yet because, you know, we're in the opening area and there isn't really much lore here. Oh, look out, there's a dude, there's a dude. Ah. Oh no, that's that's another player, that's oh. a ghost. Oh, okay. You see, you see the ghosts of other players. <laughs> so, what does this say? Well, that's not very lore heavy, is it? No, that's... Uh, it appears to be a basic prison cell key. So one of the things you were saying about the law, or as you have told me in pubs previously, <laughs> uh, is that there is no kind of totally fixed definition of what occurs in Dark Souls. One of the reasons that it's interesting is that it is extremely ambiguous. Oh, well, like, there, there are, um, like, there's stuff you know for sure. Like, you um, you learn facts about the history of this world and various interactions with people have. Mm. But it's like, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how, how far I want to push this metaphor, but like, if you had a jigsaw and you only had some of the pieces, you know, that's kind of it. Like, mm -hmm. you learn that some stuff definitely happened. Then you get an idea of other stuff that might have happened, but, you know... There's there's no evidence for it, and you have to kind of basically you you get certain things that you know, and you have to kind of fill in the blanks mm -hmm. uh, is the best way I can put it. But it's kind of more awesome than that because um, it suggests a lot of stuff that isn't obvious at all. It's it's just not obvious. But then you kind of you put two and two together, mm -hmm. and suddenly you're like, ah. Oh, you know, now I see why that was there and, you know, this was here. Well, I don't, um, perhaps this is uh, sort of a pseudo-spoiler for this, this playthrough, um, although I don't know any of the specifics, so I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel like a spoiler for me. So one of the things that you said previously is that the, one of the things that's interesting about the story is that the parts where it is explicit about what is happening are not necessarily reliable. Uh, and, and, go well, on. Gosh. Yeah, sorry, I was I was doing a sneaky. He's a hard-looking chap. Oh, none of that, thanks. Thirst and thrust. Yeah, well, that wasn't quite the. Th I think the thirst and thrust is the repost. Um. So yeah, there so the explicit story is untrustworthy, and part of what makes Dark Souls lore attractive is that it's actually um, misleads you. Uh, yeah, like in some specific instances, like we're gonna, um, later in the game we're gonna come across a character called Artorius, um, who is a big deal, and um, we will learn lots about him, mm -hmm. some of which is true, some of which isn't, but it's, it's really, really hard to kind of discern what is true and what isn't, mm -hmm. because Artorius is a legend. And it's like, actually, that, that goes for a lot of this. Like, everything... Basically, you've turned up to the party a thousand years after it's finished. Like, <laughs> all, the major, the, all the major events in this world have already happened, apart from you. You're, mm. like, the last major event. So, you're kind of trying to piece together... Yeah, you're trying, you're trying to piece together stuff that happened so long ago that there's no one alive with any memory of it. Mm. There's just these items with descriptions that may or may not be true. Um, hold on. Oops, a daisy. Yeah. Oh, he's quite eager, isn't he? He is quite eager. I notice there's a certain ramping up in the quality of your opponents at this point. Yeah. These guys are boulder knights. And, oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. It's okay. Uh-huh. 
Ah, bollocks, it's not okay. <laughs> uh, I got backed into a corner and fucked up. I really need to get a better shield than the plank shield because the plank shield is letting damage through, which means I can't comfortably block, mm. which is definitely why I'm dying so much. Okay, absolutely, unquestionably <laughs> so. Uh, and all I need, actually, is one more point of dexterity. Although I might actually have a shield I can use. Hold on. Oh yeah, I can I can use the night shield. So we're going to use the night shield, uh, which is very pretty. Oh, it is rather oh, charming. Very very nice. Yeah, there we go. And I am also going to pop two humanities. Oh, see, there's one of our. See, that's somebody else in their world. They're standing here at the bonfire, and oh. we just got a little glimpse of them. Oh. Yeah, it's it's really really nice the way that it. Um, uses online in this game uh, it's kind of mysterious you know it's like all, all other online games are like you know matchmaking and stuff mm -hmm. like that whereas this one other players are kind of they're always there but they're like they're on the periphery right. they're kind of and the, fa the fact that that dude has been there and like I think I think it's like a 10 minute window or something right so that dude could be from anywhere else in the world and he's just doing the same shit we are, you know, and he's just been at the bonfire, and the, you know, there's no, if you think about it, there's no gameplay reason for that, there's no mechanical purpose to mm -hmm. it, it's just kind of a little reminder that, I don't know, you're both on the same journey, you know, and one of the things about Dark Souls is that, uh, actually, funnily enough, what we were talking about with the, oh, hold on, come on, come on, mate, come on, have another go camera didn't do itself uh, didn't cover itself in glory there funnily enough like one of those things we were saying so you notice we've got 10 Estus now rather than 5 mm -hmm. because we kindled the bonfire um, make, make the rats fall off the edge go on, on. <laughs> alright you just don't want me to get poisoned I don't I don't want you to get poisoned I'm thinking I know. of you oh, little person. come on come on mate yeah you know you want to have a lunge have a lunge Yay! That's a twofer. Yeah, that's what we call. Can you get this one off as well? Flaw oh, you want me to? I don't know. I just, I just don't want you to get poisoned. All right, just, just for you, Marty. <laughs> just, just for you. Well, he's, he's a bit more eager than his. Uh, yeah, but he's companions. gonna, he's gonna go off the ledge just like him. Is he? Come on, mate. Come on. Have a lunge from there. Ah. Oh, oh this, Yeah, this, this is the granddad rat. He's a bit more cunning. And he's mad that we made his nephews fall off. But I am determined, Marty. This, <laughs> this, this one's for you. Yeah. Come, come on. on. Come on, rat pathfinding. Come on, douchebag. I think he's just going to stay over there now. <laughs> no, he's going to rub into the wall. All right. Uh, let's let's Sorry. let's bravely run away. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> yeah. So um, what were we talking about? Oh, he fell off! He fell off! <laughs> we got his souls! Flawless victory! <laughs> uh, yeah, so one of the things, like we were talking there about Artorius and how not all his lore is reliable. Mm -hmm. One of the things that massively amps up in this game at the start is that you are the chosen undead. Mm -hmm. You are the one who is here to da 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 da. But actually, like, a lot of what you see, even though it's not explicitly stated, is that you're not, you're one of, you know, hundreds and thousands that is kind of fooled by this story into undertaking this journey. And you see our little ghost friend there? Oh, yeah. Um, so you get these little reminders all the time that you're not actually the only chosen undead. You're one of many. I'm going to tempt this guy into a blow. There we are. You notice our, uh, our boar friend is uh, gone. Oh, so he remains dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, those guys. No. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I got the moves. Now, yeah, there's really no need to... Oops, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Let's kill him and have a lovely sip of Sunny D. Mm -mm. So nice. So we're going to bum these guys. <clears throat> oh, shit. Not like that, we're not. <laughs> Yeah, 
I can't believe I was using the wood shield or the plank shield for so long. It it's because you wanted a challenge. Yeah. Well, it's it's deprived, isn't it? Whoops. Whoops. A daisy. Mm -mm. See, this is one of the beauties of the rapier, is that we can block, poke, 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 poke. We're not going to play like that, really, but it's nice to know that we can. <laughs> Especially after, like, you know, <clears throat> it's it's actually quite nice. I haven't played, um, it's weird, like, on all my, I spend so much time in Dark Souls that all my characters are amazing. You know, they've got, like, fully upgraded gear, they're badasses. I did try to do the one bro thing, which is going through it as a level one. Oh, yeah. Um, I kind of got bored of and that. Leveling, never leveling up, then. Never leveling up. But the, the thing that bugs me about it is, uh... The weapons you can use are really, really limited, and like the best one really is a club, and it's a bit crappy. Like mm. I, I don't, I don't really like running around the game, just kind of whittling away at things with a club. And you know, fair play to anyone that does it. You know, it is like hard. <laughs> it's mm. definitely like a challenge. And you know, if you are one bro, you are amazing. Oh wow, we've been invaded. We've been invaded, oh God. Sir Lackey. Right, oh God. so I want, I want to get to a place where there are no enemies. Do the enemies just attack you if you're invaded, or do they also attack your invader? No, nope, just attack us. Oh, gosh, right. Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to think where the where he would have invaded from, if that makes sense. Yeah, so there are certain points. Does he not come from a bonfire? No, there's um, certain points where invaders spawn. Uh, Does he know where you are? No, uh, but I think he's going to come from this direction. I'm pretty certain, actually. Uh, should we hide here and try and get the jump on him? Sure. The problem is we're going to have to, because we're using a rapier, really the only way we're going to do any damage to this guy is by parrying him, which is going to be hard. Tricky. Hmm. It depends. It depends how laggy he is. Could use the morning star instead. Uh, could use the morning star instead. There we go. Easy solution. Uh, let's see. When he when he comes this way, this is what we're gonna do. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. I just hope he doesn't come from the stairs because he's gonna totally blindside us. How certain are you? <laughs> I, I think I think he spawns uh, on the bridge coming that way. I'm not sure though. I don't really PvP in here very much. So uh, got some moles, eh? Did you have that checked out? Hmm. Oh yeah, I see what you Can mean. Be precancerous. You know? Oh man, I'm getting bored waiting for this guy. But I don't. The problem is, I don't really want to. Ag Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Come oh. on then. Come on then, matey. Oh, this guy's being a bit funny. Come on, have some morning star in your grill. Oh, he's using some sort of poison club. Does that take out your endurance or something? Uh... No, it may poison us though. Actually, the lag with this guy doesn't seem too bad. I think I can probably parry him. Uh huh. Yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Lol! Here's some fire bombs. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, come on, mate. I know. Oh, oh shit. God. Oh, oh, shit. No. Oh, God well. Knows. Oh, well. Never mind. Don't bow to me, you dick munch. <laughs> he came in with. Well, you know, he had better gear than us, which is definitely <laughs> why we lost. <laughs> 